G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at how you can stream using different audio if you've got multiple destinations you're streaming to in vMix. Now sometimes when you're streaming, you wanna send out the same video to your streams, but you wanna use different audio. It's really handy if you might have an interpreter that's using a different language, so you could stream out an, a one in English, and maybe one in Spanish, one in Japanese, and that sort of thing. Now it's also handy if you want to just create a different mix of audio as well for your different streams. For example, at a sporting event, you might have one that includes commentators and one that doesn't and just has crowd noise. Totally up to you how you'd want to use it. Now in order to do this, you'll need to create a separate audio mix using one of the audio buses in vMix. So by default, your stream is going to be using your master audio. So when you add a new audio source into vMix, it's automatically going to be added to your master audio and then that goes out on your stream and your recordings. Now the audio buses in vMix allow you to build a totally different audio mix to your master by selecting different inputs to that bus. You can pick and choose what audio you want to send to the master and what you want to send to the buses or both. And then you can select that bus to be sent out on one of your streams. So firstly, what we'll need to do is jump into vMix and we'll need to set up some buses. So we'll need to go to settings and then audio outputs here. Now, as you can see here, I've already set up A, B, C and D in my production. It's got enabled next to it. If I wanted to set up E, just go to the drop down menu and select enabled. Then click OK in order to activate that. So that will restart vMix and when it's restarted, you'll then have the ability to use these different buses. Now, um, it's up to you how many you select or what you wanna do, but for example today, we are going to be using bus A, so make sure you have uh, bus A enabled if you don't already. And then when you finished enabling, you just click OK down the bottom. So as you can see here, I've got a really basic vMix production here today. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up two streams, one with English language and one with Spanish language. So I have my main camera here, and this has got embedded audio from a microphone that is sitting right here, and I am attempting to speak English. Now next to that, you'll see I've got a Spanish audio feed coming in. Now, this is not actually going out to the master, you can't hear that, because I haven't assigned it to any master audio or to any of the buses that I have in vMix. Now we also have some sound effects down here that have audio, so an applause and an air horn down here. So now I'm gonna jump over to the audio mixer here on the right and show you kind of how this is all set up. So as you can see, I've got my camera here with the embedded audio from this microphone. And the M here represents that it's going to the master audio. So you can see the master audio monitor here and here moving when I talk. Now next to that, you'll see I've got Spanish audio. Now this has got audio coming in, but you notice that it's not affecting the master audio here, nor my bus here. So that has no buses enabled down the bottom here. Next to that, you'll see I've got my applause and my air horn, and they're both selected to go through to the master as well. So if I play this air horn, you'll see that it moved in the master monitor and you should have been able to hear, hear that in the recording. So what I wanna do now is build that new audio bus to send out on my second stream. So I need to decide what audio is being sent out. So if I use this Spanish audio here, I'll add it to the master so you can hear it in the recording. ¿Cómo estás? Uno. So I wanna include that on bus A. So what I'm going to do is select bus A down the bottom here. And you'll notice that when I do that, bus A monitor will start working. So I'll click here. As you can see, that is now coming through on bus A. Now it's important to also include any other audio that you want to use as a part of your second stream. So for my example today, what I'm going to do is switch the English language and the Spanish language on stream one and stream two. So basically I wanna include all the other audio in my production. So I wanna include uh, the applause, I wanna include this air horn. So every time I use all of that audio, it still appears on the second stream. The only difference is one has the English, one has the Spanish. So as you can see now, I've got my A bus here. I've got this, if I play this, that'll also come through on bus A in the monitor here. Um, so it'll go through the master and bus A. So they can be on both the master and the bus A as well. Now, if I wanna solo or just hear the bus A and what's on there, I can click the S here on bus A and that will appear in, well, not appear, but it will be heard in my headphones. So that's just bus A that will be heard in the headphones if you wanted to monitor it. Now that we have all of our audio organized and set up on the different buses, what we need to do now is go ahead and assign that bus to our stream. So I'm gonna go into the streaming settings down here 
And I have my first one going out to Facebook. So if I wanna check those settings, I go into the quality settings here, go down to the audio section and just check the channel. So by default, this is going to be our master audio, which is gonna be our mainstream going out. And that's what we want. We want the uh, first one going out to master. So just make sure that that's saved. And now we're gonna to go to stream number two. So for stream number two, I'm not gonna set all of this up, I'm just gonna make this blank, but you'll need to log into your account or set up your stream here. So because we're going to be using different quality settings for this second stream, we're using different audio, what we need to do is untick this box here that says use stream one quality. And that will give us the ability now to change the settings. So we'll go into the gear icon down here to the settings. And what we can do now in the audio is choose what bus it uses. Now by default, this will be master, but because I've been doing this tutorial, it's bus A, but what I can do is select which bus I want to send out on this stream. So what audio it's being sent. So I'm gonna select bus A, and then I'm gonna click save down here, and then I would save and close out my stream settings like so. So that will give me now the ability to send out my master audio on stream one and bus A on stream two. So when you're ready to start streaming, you just need to go down to the stream here. You can start them both at the same time by clicking the stream button. You can click the little arrow and then choose to start them individually if you wanted to, or again, start all streams up the top there. Now, if you don't know much about live streaming in VMix, I'd recommend checking out some of our other tutorials. So that's it. That's how you can set up your streams to use a different audio bus. So you're sending out the same video, but you're using a different audio source. Uh, if you were looking to send out two video sources using vmix 4k or pro with the same audio or different audio check out our video for that in the description now keep in mind that if you are sending out multiple streams from vmix you are going to need more bandwidth so make sure that you test out your connection and leave plenty of headroom in regards to your upload speeds don't use 100 percent of it we usually recommend 50 or 60 percent to be 100 percent sure but you know do your best to test that out uh, so you don't have any sort of issues when you actually go live. So if you do have any questions about this, feel free to drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. Really hard to do diagnostics and see what you're doing via YouTube comments. So um, please send us through an email. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Congratulations on finishing a vmix YouTube video. Although it's just a few short minutes, the time we've spent together means a lot to us. If you'd like to spend some more quality time with us, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you're into social media, look for vMix HD across all your favorite platforms.